Are you looking for free IV generators? Well, look no further. Hello guys and welcome back. In this video, I will share with you the best 4 ways to add IV in your blender scenes. So let us start with it. First method we have is the default IV generator that's built in Blender. This one don't requires you to install any third party add-on and is suited for anyone who works with low poly scenes or if you're new to Blender, the add-on is located in the side panel and you just need to make sure the add-on box is checked to enable it. After that the process is super easy, set to generate point for the IV by moving the cursor there, then hit add new IV. You can from here on change any of the numbers below the add button to change the length, width or any other option and after that you hit update, this way you can get easy IV vegetation looks and as I said is a good plugin to start with. Second option we have is the new and amazing IV pen generator. This new add-on is available on Gumroad for free all thanks to the author, so once you visit the page, you can ask for it, and though it is totally free, you can always tip the creator and purchase the add-on for any fee you see fit to support his work. Once you install the add-on, you will find a new IV pen tab on the side panel, first you need to hit a pen to import the assets. After that you can select any object in the scene and draw on it with super easy method. The settings can be found in the modifiers area so go there and experiment with the values. Though it seems a bit heavy on my device once I increased those numbers, so go easy on them if you're using low end PC like mine. Third on this list is a geometry based IV generator, this free amazing modifier along with other cool ones are available here on 3D Wolf's generators page, so go there and download the IV generator, this one is really cool and easily modified to suit any case you work on, so have fun with it. Last but for sure not least is the Bargapi IV Generator, this one is a must have on your blender since this tool is one of my favorite, the tool is always on update and I think it's around version 8 now so go download it if you're new to the add-on, or update it if you have an old one, we might also mention that most of the modifiers and plugins nowadays requires the latest blender versions, so try to keep up if you can. I always get question on why a certain add-on is not working as it should and 90% of the time is due out to the blender version being old, so that's it, have fun with your vegetation, and if you're new here don't forget to subscribe for more dope free stuff, see you guys next time, stay sharp, goodbye.